Hello everyone, welcome to the Apple Resonance Chemistry. Now I'll continue my lectures on the carbohydrates. It is part part three. Okay, in this session we will discuss the like structural elucidation of glucose. So before going to the structural elucidation of a glucose, now we will discuss the basic introduction of the glucose. Now here the source of glucose. So glucose available in this these all these types. Okay, now here glucose available in mangoes, grapes, like apples, pears, a type of sweet compounds. These are the like a uh, sweet. Uh, the, the all the types of sweet uh, fruits it having the glucose. That's why it is called as uh, like a grape sugar. Grape sugar. Okay. Now here again, human blood it contains sixty five to one one ten mg of one ten mg per hundred ml of the blood solution. That's why it is also called as a, a blood sugar. Again, which is also available in the amygdalin and the salicylic, uh, like a urine of a diabetes patient. Uh, so here it is, it contains a little bit amount of the urine of diabetes patient. Okay. So now here, this is the sources of glucose. Now, in generally, naturally, we will prepare the glucose through the like a uh, cane sugar in uh, hydrolysis as well as a starch hydrolysis. Okay. The first part we will discuss the like a preparation method of the glucose. Now here, the first preparation method. So now here the hydrolysis of sucrose that is nothing but a cane sugar, sucrose. So it is a C six sorry C twelve H twenty two O eleven. In presence of hydrolysis, we will get the like C six H twelve O six plus C six H twelve O six. So one is glucose and another one is fructose. Both are available in equimolar ratios. Equimolar. Ratios. Okay. Now we will we will get the like glucose and fructose from the sucrose molecule at equi equimolar ratios. That is fifty fifty percent. Okay. Again, we will, here we will get the glucose compound. Uh, again, starch molecule that is nothing but a C six H ten O five n times, which is treated with a n number of moles of water in presence of acid. Here also in the presence of acid, like a little bit acidic medium like HCl and in presence of H two H two S before. Now here H H plus three ninety three Kelvin, so two two three atmosphere atmospheric pressure. So we will get the n number of moles of glucose, n number of moles of glucose from the starch molecule. So these two are the like a best preparation method. Uh, from the uh, best preparation method of the glucose. Okay, now here we know that we will find the glucose, which is available as a like white crystalline compound, that is white uh, powdering compound, like a white compound. Okay, now we know that uh, we will get the glucose that is a uh, very sweeter in the test. Okay, very sweet in the test. Now we don't know the like a uh, chemical structure of the compound, white compound, white compound, but we don't know the chemical structure of the compound. Nowadays we will have the uh, many of the many of the uh, like a spectroscopic method, which gives the like a uh, structure of the uh, any type of compound, any complicated molecules also it will gives the structure of the compounds. Okay, now those days. Those are like uh, the starting days of the glucose structure elucidation. So those days we don't know the like uh, we don't have the spectroscopic method. So at the time we will find the structure of any compound go through the like a chemical reaction. So those chemical reactions will give the any information regarding to the structure of any compound. Then it is called structure elucidation. Then it is called structure elucidation. Now here we know that we will get the white compound that is in a glucose. Okay. Now that glucose structure of the glucose we will find the like through the uh, chemical reactions of the glucose. Chemical reactions of the glucose. Now let us go through the structure elucidation of glucose. Now. Let us go through the uh, like a structural elucidation of glucose molecule. The first point, so now the first point, uh, molecular formula. So from the like a chemical method, so we will get we will get the molecular formula of the compound. Here it is C six H twelve O six from the preparation method. So the molecular formula of the compound C six H twelve O six. Okay. Now here it has the presence of six carbon atoms, six oxygen atoms, twelve hydrogen atoms. Okay. Now we don't know the like those connection of the car all carbon atoms as well as the functional group of the oxygen atom. Okay. Now here in the second case we will go through the like a red a reduction reaction that is red phosphorus H I hydrogen iodide in presence of red phosphorus reaction on uh, like a, a, a gentle heating it gives the certain compound so that gives the information regarding to the total number of carbons in a like a, in the, uh, the total number of carbons and its forms of the carbon atom. Okay, now here. We know that glucose molecular formula. So that glucose will treat it with a red phosphorus in H I. That is a reducing agent. It will give the like a C H three, C H two, C H two, C H two, C H three. 
okay now here sorry ch2 ch3 this is nothing but a n hexane moiety it gives the n hexane moiety that n hexane moiety will 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 gives the information here all the six carbon atoms present uh, all the six carbon atom present as a straight chain okay all the six carbon atoms all the six carbon atoms present as a straight chain present as a straight chain that means c c c c c like this okay so all carbon atoms are present again uh, now we will get the like any hexane along with that uh, two iodo any hexane also we will get that is a like a undesired side product okay now here it is the reduction reaction of the glucose will gives the information all carbon all carbon atoms of glucose moiety are straight chain or straight chain again we know, we know that all carbon atoms are straight chain but uh, we are worried about uh, six carbon six oxygen atom functionality we don't know the functionality of six oxygen atom so oxygen atom in the form of either alcohols or ethers or carbonyl compounds or carboxylic acids okay now here the uh, all uh, six oxygen atoms either in the form of alcohols or carbonyl compounds or carboxylic acid now let us go through the first first test for the alcohol so here the presence of alcohol test uh, uh, with the like alcohols treated with the acids or acid halides will give the esters or alcohols again treated with alcohols will use the ethers so generally esters are stable compounds than that of the ethers that's why we will go through the ester test like uh, those scientists not me okay those scientists will go through the like uh, a acid halides reaction now here it is glucose compound we don't know the original structure okay now here we don't know the like a structure of the compound so glucose will treat it with the like a uh, acetic acid acid chloride or acetic anhydride so both are the acylating agents both are the very good acylating agent here it it appears like a penta acetate moiety penta acetate glucose penta acetate that that is nothing but here five five oxygen atoms are presented as a alcohols okay in generally here any alcohol will treat it with our like a acid halides okay here it forms the rococh3 this is mono mono acetate here it is the mono acetate so now glucose will treat it with the, those type of reagents it will gives the like a penta acetate that indicates that our glucose present as a uh, our glucose having the five hydroxyl functionality five hydroxyl functionality again we will confirm the another reagent again here which is treated with pcl5 which is treated with pcl5 here also we will get the, this type of compound we, we know that structure that's why i'll write the those compounds like in the form like here we will get the this type of compounds so penta halogenated product penta halogenated product so these two reactions will gives the complete information five oxygen atoms present as a alcohols five oxygen atoms present as a alcohol okay now again these uh, uh, these five oxygen atoms uh, in glucose present as a hydroxyl functionality okay now we, we again we will treat it with like a methanol compounds we will treat it with a, like a methanol uh, compounds that is a methanol the glucose we know that uh, very easier first for our understanding i'll i'll draw the those structure okay so for our understanding okay now here the, this is the structure actually we don't know the structure of glucose compound which is treated with methanol okay now in this case of methanol reaction with the glucose here it gives a mono ether functionality mono ether functionality so the mono ether functionality it gives the it clears that one of the hydroxyl group is different from the those four, four hydroxyl groups okay now here it we will get the only mono ether functionality that indicates one of the alcoholic functionality from the those five hydroxyl groups is different from other four different from other four now actually he, here it appears like two types of isomer that is hoch3 again another isomer och3 h okay now here the remaining three are same here it is o compound here it is the o compound h ch2oh again here also choh taken thrice okay cho okay this type of compound ch2oh now here it is alpha isomer here it is the beta isomer okay so the methanol will use the like a glycosidic bond so glycosidic uh, methanol like a methyl ether glycosidic methyl ether this is called as like a alpha glucopyruside okay uh, glyco uh, glycosen like a glycoside linkage 
alpha glycoside like here it is the beta isomer beta isomer so this gives the information these three reaction will give the information now here five five oxygens from uh, glucose moiety present as a like a uh, hydroxyl group among the five one of the group one of the hydroxyl group uh, is different from the those four different from the those four okay that indicates uh, here one group is the uh, different uh, functionality uh, that means uh, either one is primary another one is uh, secondary or uh, one is uh, secondary and uh, another are uh, primary okay now we'll go through the like a uh, further reaction that uh, that confirms that so one of the group is different from the those four groups uh, what are the functionality either primary or secondary okay now here these uh, five reactions will use the like uh, almost all structure about uh, glucose now let us go through the like a sixth reaction Now here the sixth reaction. The sixth reaction here five oxygen group functionality is known. Okay, but uh, we don't know the like sixth functionality. So that is maybe either aldehyde or carboxylic acid. Now let us go through the aldehyde functionality. Here glucose will treated with a uh, hydroxyl amine. Here, here it forms the oxine, glucose oxine that indicates here C double bond N. OH here C double bond NOH that is the compound okay now again which is treated with a hydrogen cyanic acid so that is nothing but hydrogen cyanide so we will get the this type of compound OH like a cyanide CH so these are the like a bottom part of the glucose is same okay this is a cyanohydrin this is cyanohydrin is nothing but glucose cyanohydrin these two reactions indicates that whenever so NH2OH and HCN will treat it with carbonyl compounds then only here it gives the those type of oxine as well as a, like a hydrogen cyanide compound here it undergoes the nucleophilic addition reaction it gives the like a cyanohydrin moiety cyanohydrin moiety so these two reactions will gives the complete information regarding to the sixth oxygen atom that present as a carbonyl functionality that present as a carbonyl functionality again another question is arise so in carbonyl functionality whether it is presented as aldehyde or it is presented as ketone functionality we don't know whether it is aldehyde or ketone now let us go through the another reaction that is ninth seventh reaction is over eighth reaction Okay, now here the eighth reaction that is nothing but a bromine water reaction. Here it is like a, any compound. So here it is the like CHOH, CH2OH. We don't know the like a, we are knowing that functionality one four is different, uh, one is different, four oxygens are different. Okay, now here which is treated with HNO3, which is treated with a, sorry, before going to the HNO3, we will go through the like a BR2 water that is bromine water solution. Okay, so bromine water is a mild oxidizing agent. It can oxidize uh, like aldehydes to carboxylic acids. It can oxidize aldehydes to carboxylic acids. So generally, aldehydes will treat it with bromine water. So now here it converts into carboxylic acids. Now we don't know the like structure of compounds. So whether it is aldehyde or uh, ketone, we don't know. But uh, glucose will treat it with bromine water. Here it it can it forms uh, like a gluconic acid. Gluconic acid so gluconic acid means one of the functional group uh, uh, among the six carbon atoms one is presented as a carboxylic acid then it is called gluconic acid simply any aldose will use the monocarboxylic acid derivatives then it is called aldonic acids it gives the dicarboxylic derivative acids then it is called aldaric acid okay now here only one of the carbon atom will presented as a like a carboxylic acid then it is called uh, aldonic acid here glucose is the uh, aldose that's why it is called as gluconic acid so the remaining compounds are same the remaining compounds are same okay now here it indicates uh, the functionality of the carbonyl compound is aldehyde the functionality of the carbonyl compound is aldehyde so one of the functional group is aldehyde okay now almost all we will get the structure but we, we are uh, like uh, missing out one of the form that is one hydroxyl group is different from the, those uh, four hydroxyl group so among the what is the character of those four uh, those hydroxyl groups we don't know again we will treat it with uh, hno3 that is a very strong oxidizing agent so here the strong oxidizing agent of hno3 will treat it with glucose here it gives the dicarboxylic acid derivative so dicarboxylic acid derivatives are called as aldaric acid here we will take the glucose that's why it is called as glucaric acid as well as or it is called as saccharic acid glucaric as saccharic acid okay so that indicates here the 
HMO3 can convert the like primary alcohols as well as aldehydes can convert into carboxylic acids. So now here HNO3 cannot convert the secondary alcohols into carbonyl com uh, like carbonyl compounds. So in case of like a strong, very strong reagents that is KMN4, K2CO2, those are converts into those compounds in in each and every alcohol converts into carboxylic acid. But here it cannot convert the like a secondary alcohols into alcohol uh, like a carboxylic acids but primary alcohols will convert into like a uh, primary alcohols will convert into carboxylic acid so that gives the information so the bottom part of the alcohol so the bottom part of the alcohol can convert it into like carboxylic acid okay not only these reaction generally okay now whether bottom part or bo uh, either uh, second third part of the compound uh, will convert it into carboxylic acid we don't know but uh, some of the like all those will uh, treat it with like our uh, HNO3 it gives the like a uh, Top and bottom is the same molecule. All are the like a similar type of OH functionality. This is the first group. So that indicates that here it possesses with a plane of symmetry. So here it, it gives the a plane of symmetry molecule. Plane of symmetry is there, then it is achiral molecule. Sorry, uh, achiral molecule. It is correct. Okay, achiral molecule. So that achiral molecule of uh, achiral molecule, in case of glucose, it is not a it is not a chiral, it is a chiral mighty. Okay, those type of compounds will treat it with HNO3. So we will get we will get the those type of compounds. Okay, now here HNO3 clears that the uh, different hydroxyl group present as a primary alcohol. The different hydroxyl group present as a primary alcohol. So these are the very simple reactions regarding to the like a structural elucidation of the like a uh, glucose. Structural elucidation of the glucose. Now, finally, we conclude that uh, one of the hydroxyl group is primary. The remaining four hydroxyl groups are secondary. The final one is uh, high aldehyde functionality. According to the Fisher projection, now here the four are the like uh, alcohols. Now the far bottom one is uh, like a uh, primary alcohol. The remaining uh, four are secondary alcohol. Top of the pot is uh, glucose. Okay, now. Here we will find the glucose structure. Here these ty uh, these all types of the groups uh, will appear like a, a synperiplanar manner. Now I will show the molecule of the synperiplanar mo molecule like that. So now here it is appeared like a cylindric uh, manner. So those two cylindric groups are the synperiplanar will appear. So those are say, like a cylindric form of the glucose structure. Now I will show the uh, complete structure, 3D structure of the glucose molecule. Okay. Now here, now let us go through the like a uh, very uh, sharp revision about um, like a glucose moiety. Now here see H O H O H O H H H O H H O H C H two O H. Okay. Now here the first part whenever a, a single a single shot of the like a glucose reaction. Now we will discuss all the type of reaction. So red phosphorus plus H I will use the like a N hexane as well as two iodo hexane. Two iodo hexane. This is the first reaction. Now the second reaction the, the, that is a, like a acetyl chlorides or acetic anhydrides as well as PCl five. It gives the like a pentaacetate moiety. Like a C H O. This is C H O C H three. Okay, four times uh, CH2OCH3. Whenever it is treated with only acetic, al uh, acetic anhydride as well as acetic halide. Okay, whenever it is treated with PCL5, here CHO, CHCl four times uh, CH2Cl, CH2Cl. It is treated with uh, like a mild oxidizing agent, uh, Br2, like a uh, Br2 water. So it gives the like this type of compound is the top of the compound, all the heat can convert it into carboxylic acid. The remaining all are present uh, as it is. Uh, this is uh, one carboxylic acid functionality that is nothing but aldonic acid. Two carboxylic acid functionality of the aldos, then it is called aldaric acid. Now here it is uh, gluconic acid. It is, uh, is, it is nothing but uh, gluconic acid. Whenever these uh, these glucose compound will treated with a strong oxidizing agent, it is mild oxidizing agent. It is a strong oxidizing agent. So now we will get the like a di uh, dicarboxylic acid that is nothing but uh, saccharic acid uh, or gluconic glucaric acid saccharic acid or glucaric acid saccharic as well as glucaric both are same name okay now here uh, it indicates the uh, different hydroxyl functionality is a primary hydroxyl group now the, fi uh, the finally here we know that uh, uh, here uh, the carbonyl functionality we don't know the carbonyl functionality so that is a uh, like a um, hydroxyl amine test will use the like oxime 
okay the remaining thing are same okay again hcn will use the like a hydrogen cyanic acid hydrocyanic acid simply it is a hydrocyanohydrate simply it is cyanohydrate not only that uh, again uh, sodium borohydrate like uh, so that much of reducing the acid like here it is the continuation part here it is not these continuation glucose continuation part whenever here it treated with the sodium borohydride so the top of the alcohol uh, aldehyde can convert it into alcohols so now all are alcohols then it is called sorbitol then it is called sorbitol so these are the very simple reactions now we come from that uh, these two reactions as well as the bromine water reaction with the help of these three reactions the uh, carbonyl functionality of the glucose is uh, aldehyde so then we will go through the conformation test for the aldehydes so whenever it is treated with the tolens reagent it gives the like a silver mirror so that indicates uh, here the presence of aldehyde again here treated with failing solution it will use the like a, a slight red color precipitate that also indicates here the presence of aldehyde functionality again so which is treated with a uh, like a phenyl hydrazine phenyl hydrazine in generally like all the heads can treated with the phenyl hydrazines here it gives the like a phenyl hydrazone phenyl hydrazone or ch double bond n nh phenyl okay phenyl hydrazine can converted into hydrazone with the help of condensation reaction so that is the simplest reaction but in case of glucose so here the uh, much more quantity of the phenyl hydrazines are consumed and it gives the like ozone derivative like it gives the ozone derivative so here the glucose can only uh, absorbs the more quantity of phenyl hydrazines that indicates here the uh, phenyl hydrazine can converts into glucose ozone ozone test so the uh, the structure of ozone like this ch double bond n nh phenyl here c double bond n nh phenyl now here the remaining part are same ch oh three times ch two oh okay so this is the ozone of the ozone of the glucose then it is called as glucose zone glucose zone okay now here it gives the uh, like a, it gives the very readily it gives the precipitate that's why it is used as the conformation of the glucose moieties conformation test for the glucose moieties the conformation test of the glucose moieties is nothing but a ozone derivative test a ozone derivative test okay these are the very simple reactions for the uh, structural elucidation of glucose moiety that's all for this video in next session i'll discuss very mo much more important topic of the like cyclic as well as uh, anomeric structures as well as alpha and beta structures of the cyclic glucose okay until thank you so much for watching